good morning. I am Ruth Edwards and we have Milholm Green Market. We have created a safe and hospitable market space for the farmers and the food artisans to meet with the public. In our new normal with COVID and all these different things happening all at the same time, we were thinking let's do something that we could offer the market quality service at a reasonable price and let us offer a space where this transaction could take place and basically that is what Mill Home Green Market is. We have as you can see we got a lot of great people on board and we are building a community. We have got the support from uh, from the community, from our chairman for TPRC, from our councillor, from a number of different persons. So we only expect to move from strength to strength. So today is our opening, Saturday the 13th of June 2020. And our next offering will be on Saturday the 27th of June, which will be month end. And then we go by monthly in July and August. We will be every week, Saturday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. I came from a long line of, of country people and their belief was one person plant a tree, one man plant a tree for another man to get shade. So many years ago my mother purchased the house and the land and my grandfather and his brother who lives close to us, they started planting together and trying to do things for the community. And that's where we came out. A team of us sat and we decided, you know what? Part of the legacy is a name. So let's call the area Wilson Field. Yeah, that's how Wilson Field came into being. Name is Peter Peel from Sunny Grandi representing Peel Honey Products. Um, we're here today doing our thing with everybody else on the green market. And first, first and foremost, this is an observation hive where we bring, an, we bring the experience to, to the public that they could have a sense of what we as beekeeper feel when we attend to the bees. From here is where we get our nice clear local honey. We have our honeycomb and all other varieties. One of the best tasting honey that we have in Trinidad and Tobago comes from Sally Bay and it comes from uh, what you call the Mora trees, Salibe and Balanja. That's where we get that and that's the best tasting honey that we have in Trinidad. I've been doing this for the past 34 years. I grew up next to a beekeeper and out of high school he offered me a day work to assist him to do something and that day work went into I want to see what the bees do tomorrow and I want to see what the bees do the other day and I want to see what the bees do the next month. And then the honey crop came in and I went through the whole cycle and realized that is what I wanted to. You asked a question a while ago, you be the judge. Thank you. All the seasoning and thing we have, coming from on the hill by me, that is up Cameron Hill, Marvel, up on top of the mountains now, but close to the Go Martin area there. Yeah. yeah, we have all, the, all, like, all the shadow benny, parsley, basil, all them things coming from on top there. You yeah, are meant to. All them things coming from on the hill. Basil, real nice guts, real nice thing. Have a little bit of side, but the side cannot sell out, you see, no way, no? Have a little bit of celery remain there. That is basically what it's come from home, I mean. And then we have like little people in the area, my uncles and them. They will be planting like more like tomatoes, cabbage, and stuff like that. So I just bring a little thing in that too, no? Pimento, hot peppers, all them things. Right. Yeah. So I just deal with that on a daily. That is my daily thing now but Monday to Friday I dealing with our wholesalers also sell it wholesale too right. like by the bulk and how much how much of our pounds you're looking for mm -hmm. we could also supply with that now but. so they just give me a little insight for me to come and share a little produce of what I just have right. so I bring it out today. Nice. So it's real land then? Well it's not well basically it's mountain area mountainous areas different you know different yeah. areas where people plant and stuff yeah. whoever have the land to access will access it nice. yeah Okay, so my name is Mervyn Jack. I am the executive chef and owner of Mijai's Culinary Maestros. Um, we are a, a infusion business. We do different types of food. Um, we do catering. We have a food bus, a food truck, a 40-foot food truck that we also go from point to point doing events. 
Um, this is our first time today at the, the Green Market. Um, Miss Ruth Edwards invited me. Today we're doing grilled chicken, barbecue chicken, Kenyan style. We're doing grilled whole fish and we're also doing fried whole fish. We also have bitter herbs, okra, um, cuckoo okra. We have saltfish bulljoy, we have mandazi, um, otherwise known as fry bake or float as we call it here. Um, we have callaloo. Um, that's basically it. So we're giving you a taste of everything. Trinidad meets Africa. This smoker <laughs> belonged to a friend of mine. It was an old compression tank um, for a, com a condenser. So he got rid of the condenser. It went bad after a while and he was selling the tank. So I bought it and I decided to convert it to a smoker slash barbecue pit. Um, it's, it attaches to my, my truck. So we pull it to go wherever it needs to go. It can comfortably bake bread, um, bake a whole pig, a whole a, a small cow, <laughs> um, very large pieces of chicken, we all sorts of things you can do. It can move from point to point. Okay, so my telephone number is 461 Chef, 461 Chef, and you can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, or just call us. It will just be a little long. So, what kind of spice go into this? So, we call it the elixir. It's a combination of some Kenyan spices married with some Trinidadian spices. So they use rosemary, thyme and a lot of salt. They use a lot of sea salt and kosher salt. Um, so I combine that with our turmeric, our cayenne pepper, our um, garlic, our onion powders, um, bay leaf, clove, something that's very popular down here. And we just create a elixir just to make the barbecue sauce. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, this is the life that we live now and I'm... That's nice. Hi, and welcome to Wonton Hut. My name is Aria, I'm the owner of Wonton Hut. And I'm Laurel, her assistant. Here at Wonton Hut, we do uh, traditional and gourmet flavors such as cream cheese, spinach, we have beef chicken, we have beef steak, wontons. For the sweet side we have chocolate chip, cream cheese, we have strawberry cheesecake, cookies and cream wontons. We also have wonachos which is a twist with the wonton skins and layered nachos. with veggies yeah. and <laughs> meats. Right? Yes. It's like a, tr a twist with the regular nachos with wonton skins. We typically do pop-ups and events. We do s we sell fried on the spot, wontons fried on the spot, as well as frozen bags. We do deliveries every Friday and Saturday. Friday, East-West Corridor, Saturday, Central and South. South. Right? And we're also located at Artie's, Artie's Digger Martin. Best sauce for the cream cheese is the plum sauce. And our famous Hi. sweet Thai chili. And my name is Marble Shepard. I am from Cora, Peace to be exact, and uh, I do cold process soap and melt and pour. Cold process is the hard soap and the melt and pour is the softer soap. I also do lotions, organic, I do perfume colognes, I make candles, I make sauce scrub, I make lip balm, and I do candles too. So basically this is what I do, I'm retired. So I have more time on my hands to facilitate. So I do loafer, so that when you bathe, you do one exfoliating and done. Okay. All right? So for me, turmeric, mm. but my best seller really is charcoal. Charcoal. And turmeric. And in the lines of um, lotions, turmeric, cucumber, and oats. Yeah, best seller. What's the difference on your skin? So this is very good for dry skin, especially especially if you're a hard worker. It feels good and it is good. This is this is oats. So this is Quaker oats. Oh, okay. Natural oats. It has a good feel and it's very good for your skin. Okay. And where for your face like for, for wrinkles and anything? Well, for charcoal and turmeric soap. And a soap of face it and leave it let it dry. Okay. And when it starts to pull, uh -huh. I take warm water and rinse it off. Or you can go and bathe, bathe, bathe one time and. Uh, yeah, yeah, when you go and bathe. We are MM Home Creations um, and we do little household items to add a little touch of decor to your home. 
So we have the sleeping pillows, which are made from brown cotton and polyfiber. It's eighty dollars, and then we have throw pillows that are sixty-five dollars each. All pillows can be customized to your order, so we do based on your size request, um, material, the firmness of the pillow. We also do pillow cases for, for the pillows as well. And we also have some craft items. So we do kitchen towels. It's for the fridge or to tie anywhere in the kitchen with pot holders. And then we also have some craft items. Um, and you can use those as trays. You have some that can be used for napkin holders or letter holders. So we have a variety of stuff. You can find us on Facebook at MM Home Creations um, or you can contact us at 778-0059. I'm Mr. Francis, retiree from UWI, who decided to do juices. Um, I was looking for something and I always juice, I eat healthy, plus I teach a co-curricular at UWI, health and wellness. So that actually brought on having this business. and. I just ended up doing a course online then, about well, two courses online before I actually venture into it. So I, so I can learn about the different types of juices, the different types of mixtures, I can, can know how to do pricing, how to, to check the vegetables and so on. But what I like about it, I, I did not put anything in any shop or rent it a place, I wanted to deliver. Because when I go to deliver, I can speak with my clients about the juices. I can tell them about it. If they call me, I can tell them, well, this can be used to this. Um, most of the people get mixed up in Trinidad and Tobago. Everything they want is a cleanse. But all juices, all juices can be cleansers, depending on how you, you, you do it. The other thing we have to, I, I looked at also is the eating habits of Trinidad, of Trin begonians, how they eat. I'm also right now on doing a program called coaching, health coaching, so I can add that on to the juices and to how people eat and take care of themselves. The unique selling point, because I, I do not believe in having any sugar, neither any preservatives, because you put in preservatives, that's going to be on the shelf for how long? Because there are some juices I've looked at that stay on the shelf for two months, right? No, these, these juices have a lifespan of three to four days. You can go as much as five days. Sometimes you can put it in the, the, the deep freeze and take it out and you know have it. That's fine. But I've had clients who have kept it in the, in the fridge for eight days and I've tested it. But from a, from a selling point I would say four to five days. So it, it's, it's a lot of work. People say how do you do it? Now when you go to the market you come back you have to clean your vegetables you have to, and your fruits you have to make sure you scrub etc etc and it's better you do it fresh. So if I for instance getting this ready I did not finish until about two this morning so you get it fresh. I might do it the night before and go until midnight but it's fresh. It's nothing that is going to be mixed or stretched. Like people say to me do you put water in it? No. Everything is just the fruit or vegetable. That is what you're getting. Now for sorrel, things like sorrel and, and, and tambra, you would need to use um, cane juice, not cane sugar, cane juice. Because the cane juice has the potassium and the magnesium in it. My other thing I want to do as we go along is to have little cards telling you what this juice is good for. So at least you would know what you're purchasing. My children put me on to Instagram. So we have an Instagram site where you do that. And we also have um, the WhatsApp that I will tell my clients what I, you know, what I'm offering. You know, so that is what it's all about. Sweetest desire. Catering. Orchid Cafe. And Euphoria Creamery. Yes. And together we make Trisha. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Fiona De Silva and I am the owner of Orchid Cafe. We do desserts and Anything that you know along the sweet line that you need for your functions, for your events, even if it is you have somewhere that you'd like to get supplied, we could organize it. No, no problem. Today we have strawberry cheesecake cupcakes and chocolate overload. On top of the chocolate overload, we have Oreos, M&Ms, and chocolate. The strawberry cheesecake it's filled with strawberry pie filling and cream cheese frosting, with some graham cracker crumbs around. I am Christopher Williams and I'm the owner of Sweetest right. Desires Catering. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I didn't come to do any presentation today because I was just supporting my two friends here. But I do catering of a wide variety of food. I 
I, I like to create a more local cuisine with the foreign influence. So you can get a lasagna with a goat. So you get a nice goat lasagna. You can get it with nice fresh tomatoes because I also try to use fresh local ingredients. I also grow a lot of what I use. So I grow plenty of my herbs, whether it be celery, parsley, thyme. I grow a lot of vegetables as well, so sometimes I do a green fig, five of fresh green fig from the garden. So I try to bring that fresh local food to the table from my garden and from local growers as well. To keep that cycle going and to support each other in this, um, especially this tough time now. You know? My name is Mikhail Makano and I started Euphoria Creamy with the passion of just the love for ice cream. So I like to go outside of the box and keep things a little familiar with people but also still open them up to new things. So try to keep things as clean as possible in taste but also as bright so it's very surprising and it always remains with you when you do taste from us. And that's what much about it. Just the love for ice cream that I do it for. So today we have the mango passion. We have coconut grapefruit with wine in it from homemade wine and some brownie ice cream. Personally, peanut. Peanut is the overall hands down best for me. But and today, peanut. No, nothing else. Nothing else. else. Just peanut. 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 I can right. give you that. Oh, you have Guinness ice cream? I actually have a Guinness ice cream coming up for Father's Day. A Guinness and spiced chocolate ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> it. It is it really nice. Out of the world. Which one do you have? So this is what is this coconut and grapefruit mix and i'm now gonna try the mango eh? but take try <laughs> okay. no problem 